weird, but getting a, at least a little glimpse of like real time path racing with Miles looks, looks really incredible. Um, let's see if I can take it off real quick and uh, show you what it looks like without path tracing. I mean, obviously, if you played Quake before, um, Quake 1 or Quake 2, this is Quake 2. Obviously, if you've played them before, then you know what they kind of look like, but I just want to show in the video what this game normally looks like. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this is Quake 2 without the real-time path tracing. Um, I'll show you my graphic settings real quick. That's what I got it set to. It's as high as I can set it. Um, at least, you know, I have to go to the console, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And my other settings I got. Just put that on. And this is what Quake 2 normally looks like without real time path tracing. So let's put the path tracing back on, just real quick. Give you guys one more opportunity to look at it. Enable it one. Alright. And give it a second. I think it's loading. Alright. Oop, oh, shit. Console off. Alright. And here you go. Wait to do with the real time path tracing. I'm running this on uh, my GTX 1080. Clock roughly 9 and 10 percent. And using a Intel i5 4460. So, you know, pretty aging. My CPU's aging pretty badly. GTX 1080 is doing really well, um, hold up really well. Um, could use a could use a 1080 Ti though for the 4K 60 FPS, but uh, 1080. Yeah, it just looks different. Oh, man, look at that. Just, I mean, it looks like it looks like a Toy Story render from like the 90s, but to realize like. When they rendered Toy Story, they were using, you know, a server farm, <laughs> you know, producing basically still images over a long period of time that, you know, all together. Shit, can I play this? Oh boy, I don't know. I think i uh, get to the setting. And and holy shit, guys! I am trying to move, <laughs> trying to move in real time path tracing Quake Two. I am having a little difficulty though. Uh, what is going on? Keyboard support? What? How do you go up? Oh, what? Up arrow on mouse 3, what the hell? Alright, come on forward. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, so these settings are all messed up. Established communications. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. Oh shit, yeah, I got a straight left. I gotta set that to WASD. Uh, okay. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, yes, yeah, step left. Derp. Boom, there we go. Step right. Okay. I think I have it right now. Hopefully, this works. Otherwise, I fail at setting my controls. Okay, oh shit. Oh, I'm getting something like 20 frames per second right now. But boy, does this look fucking interesting as hell. Look at this, dude. It's so strange to look at. But like. Fuck, dude. It's like. Okay, I know, I'm, I keep saying like, but. Talk about Toy Story and like. And the. How they rendered and whatnot. And essentially, I, I feel like I'm probably playing like a real time Toy Story render from the mid to late 90s or something. Damn, the 
this is just cool. Even if it looks like it's well, looks for now, but if you're looking for the real time path pacing, it's looks good, but obviously it clears this free Jesus, dude, I feel like I'm playing a fucking nightmare right now. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I get a 1080 Ti or some, hopefully an RX Vega, Vega 2 or something. Be playing this in 60 FPS, real-time path tracing, everybody. Uh, Alright, guys, I'm out.